from Parker Rink. It's Hockey Night on again. It's way Bernie Corbett, Mark Linehan as the Terriers of Boston University get ready for the back end of this two-game Hockey East weekend series with the Yukon Huskies. Puck is cleared ahead. Now Robbins, odd man. Robbins has got Howell with him. Robbins shoots and scores as he goes far side with the wrister to beat Abel. Watch the trailer. Gives it back. And pass for Krakensawa knocked away. And now Turnbull is alone with Abel. Turnbull to the backhand. And the wow. save is made. Oh, my, by Abel. Sliding back, Hashik style. And uh, the Terriers keep this a one to nothing game. Turnbull centers one, Piasset with a shot there, saved by Abel, rebound, goal. How about Freeman. goaltender interference? I thought Freeman got a shoulder got into a piece of Abel's Abel. head. Yeah. Segrist slides to Ferentz, Ferentz looks, Segrist in the near circle, entry pass to Dang. Curry and a goal. Patrick Curry, the captain, buries it, and the Terriers have cut the UConn lead in half. Well, we talk about adjustments, Murray. There's one right there, the Terrier power play. Putting a, they usually go three across, and that's kind of an umbrella look. That time there, they put a body in front of the goalie and put Patrick Curry out in the slot, almost like a stack formation here. So you watch the replay, goes to Zegras, passes it right to Curry. You're going to leave Patrick Curry 15 feet in front of the net. He's going to score a lot of goals. Puck is ladled up in the air, batted out of the air by Crotty, right into the path of Piasov. Piasov over the line and scores. And the Terriers get it back high. Crotty partially fanned. And now here comes Piasov again. Got a step on Crotty and scores. I don't think oh. Evans, long wrister, deflected. Puck loose and a goal. Freeman buries it. Got it back. A move now. A little daylight and a shot and a goal there. So every dog has their day or their weekend. And unfortunately, rounds one and two this weekend. To the, North, to the UConn Huskies. Final score here tonight, UConn six and Boston University one. Well, you got to tip your cap, uh, cap to UConn. They played a terrific third period there. Um, and they played a terrific game. They had a lot of purpose to what they did. Um, they were strong, they were physical. Um, and they were, it's about as good as a UConn team I've seen since I've, I've been at BU, um, as far as tonight, with the, with the way they played and the purpose and the physicality. Uh, I thought they played really well. What I saw from him tonight, I thought he was competitive. You know, I thought I thought the second goal they scored was was not a goal. I thought he got interfered with. I thought they made the wrong call, especially watching that video. Um, he clearly got interfered with, and they put the puck in the open net. Um, you know, did it change the game? No, but it was a big goal uh, within the game. So um, they ended up scoring the first shot of the third that ramped up on him, kind of off Lassick's stick. So a little bit of bad puck luck, but he held us in there and. You know, for, for time, we just didn't have it tonight. You know, it looked like we were hung over from last night. Sometimes when you lose a game, we lost a game a couple of years ago to Denver in late fashion. Um, you know, it, it can rattle, rattle the team a little bit. And we got a young team, and we're going to have to rebound from, from that. It looked like we didn't recover tonight. We didn't play with a lot of purpose um, in, in anything we did. You know, it's, I think it's probably the least attempt shots on goal. We could have shot the puck 40 times tonight. And we just, we refused to shoot. We refused to play the right way. And uh, they had a lot more purpose than we did tonight.